Hi, welcome to episode 5 of this tutorial. In this episode, we're going to work with the ArrayList class to create smoke puffs for the player. First thing we're going to do, though, is modify some code from previous episodes. Here in the game panel.java, when you try to when we try to close the thread or stop the thread in the surface destroyed method, retry equals false should actually be over here after the thread successfully joins or closes. But what we're also going to do to prevent an infinite loop is create another variable called counter. And this is just going to make sure that this loop only runs a maximum of 1,000 or 999 times. And another thing we're going to do is over here in the player class, it's actually redundant to have DYA. We don't need this. There's a much simpler way to do this. So we're just going to take out this variable. Alright, let's get started. So, we want to try to create smoke puffs that follow the player and move off the map. We'll create a new class called Smoke Puff. And Smoke Puff is going to extend game object. And in the constructor of the smoke puff, we're going to take an x and a y variable. And what this is doing is setting the x and the y in the superclass game object to the x and the y being passed into the constructor. We're also going to just going to have one more variable radius, and we'll set that to five in the constructor. Then, of course, like everything else, every other class, we need an update and draw method. And in the update method, we're going to make the smoke puff move a speed of negative ten. Remember to import canvas with alt enter. And we're not going to use any um, any bitmap images for the smoke puff, so we're just going to draw it using paint. Import paint. Got to import color too. And the smoke puff is going to consist of three little circles that overlap each other.
and there we go. Now we're going to instantiate the smoke puff. I'm going to use the ArrayList class. Import ArrayList, and we'll just call it smoke. And here where we instantiate everything else. And then we don't we want the smoke puffs. Oops. We want the smoke puffs to come out at a delay. We don't want them we don't want the smoke puffs to constantly be streaming out of the helicopter. We want little puffs to come out one at a time. So this is going to be the fourth time we're using a timer, a start timer. And this timer is going to work the same exact way as all the other timers. So in the update class, or in the update method, now we have background.update, player.update. Now we're going to add smoke buffs to update. This is going to be the milliseconds of time elapsed between right now and when smoke start time started. We'll say if the elapsed is say greater than 120, we're going to add a new smoke puff. And what was in the constructor again? What was in the constructor of this smoke puff? X and Y. So for the X value of the smoke puff, we're going to have player dot get X. For the Y value, player.get y plus 10 because we want the smoke puff to appear like it's coming out of the ass of the helicopter and not the propeller and then we're going to reset the start time Now that we've created the smoke puffs, we also, in the update method, want to update smoke puffs and remove them accordingly. Because when the smoke puffs are off the screen, we don't need them anymore. We want to remove them. So this loop is just going to iterate through every single smoke puff object in the array list, smoke. It's going to go through every smoke puff object and it's going to update every smoke puff object. And then if the smoke puff is off of the screen, so less than negative 10, the x value, safely off of the screen. We're going to remove the smoke prop object. So 
so that we're not wasting any resources on objects that aren't on the screen anymore. And then the draw method. to have another loop that iterates through all the smoke puffs. So this is going to, sp is going to equal every value in the smoke array, every object. And when it iterates through each one, it's going to draw the smoke puff. This is an enhanced for loop. So let's test this. And what we used, the array list for these smoke puffs, is going to be the same class we're going to use for the missiles, too, and the borders that we're going to create later in this tutorial. So this is sort of just the introduction to array list. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, forgot about something. For it to accelerate, we can't reset dy to zero after every update. Let's try that again. We want the helicopter to accelerate when going up or down. There we go. That's cool. And I like how the smoke puff reflects this acceleration. Ooh, this is really bouncy. So the next episode is going to be a big episode. We're going to create the missiles and we're going to calculate the collision and that'll be really fun and it'll be pr pretty cool when it works out. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.